Whew. Cold out here, so I'm going to probably rush through this, so let's get going. So my brothers actually both hit me up on this project. Attitude was actually dope enough to send me a copy, and I was definitely excited to check it out. The group, Innocence, comprised of Attitude and Stay Just, emerged from a little town called Creedmoor, North Carolina. The album I received, Hors d'oeuvres for Dinner, is their debut album, and it came out in 2015. It basically claims to give you your feel Tapa style. This project features the likes of King Mez, Ad 2, and Doc Jr. So yeah, man, I'm gonna give my input and you give me yours, man. Pass or fail, so let's check it out. Thanks for watching Reanimix Reviews, where we take an unbiased approach to reviewing indie music. Orders for dinner is today's review. And once again, Remo, we split our reviews into four different categories, replayability, engineering, musicality, and overall enjoyment with a 10 out of 10 rated scale for each. We then take the average of those four scores for the overall score. Let's get into it, because I'm cold. Replayability. Man, look. I ate too much for them to be ordered. It's like a circle of life, especially how the intro and outro connect to each other. These beats and vibes were just too flavorful. I couldn't wait for each song that came on. Real talk though, really on the really real talk, gives me the feels I would give with Fantastic Voyage from Slum Village. I'm being extremely honest. <laughs> Giving this a 10 out of 10. Live y'all. Live y'all. I remember they performed this at Beats and Bars. Live y'all. Engineering. I think the engineering was pretty good on this, but to be 100% honest though, there were some times where there needed to be some proper leveling of certain elements, but it's not bad at all and it didn't take away from the experience, which is really what matters a lot of times. Now, one thing about the master is not, it doesn't have a loudness factor to it, you know, uh, it, it I think, I think the elements kind of need to be brought out a little bit on the overall master from what I'm hearing. Um, it, which really means you just got to turn your speakers up a little more to hear it. I just had to turn up my speakers a little more to hear the experience better. I'm going to have to turn this up. Alright, so I had to turn it two notches to like hear it fully. There was some semblance in some spots and times where I couldn't fully hear the vocals, but great job overall. I'm going to give this an 8.8 out of 10. Vocals need to be up just a little bit on this song. I can hear it, but you brought up a little bit more in your face a little bit. Musicality. Man, I couldn't wait to get to this section. Because, man. This project was so seamless, man. Like the song order, choices, musical additions, bass lines, drums, like everything, man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, man. It's been a minute since I've written in my book of rhymes. I think I found my moment just. The engineer is great on this track. The experience was just amazing to me. It's, it's, it's simply it's dope, amazing. Man. It's dope, man. Man. I mean, I'ma listen to this, you know, when I when I write my reviews and stuff, but, but, but man, I mean, I can already tell you. <laughs> that um, there's gonna be a lot of tens in, in that review, man. I can go, I can go ahead and tell you that now, man. I mean, I just from just from again, I'm I'm only on track five. 
how many, how many uh, track on this week? So I'm halfway through just about. It's, 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 it's dope, man. Like that ending to this track, this song right here, ooh, man. Goodness. I love that breakdown. Everything was just so fluid and musical. And whoever produced this joint knew what the hell they were doing, man. I'm just saying. 10 out of 10, man. I loved how they introduced one artist, then ended the project with introducing the other artist. Made it a full circle project. Back again for the first time, you know to finish what we started up. So no excuse me, so pardon us. Either you can move or we'll part of you. Simple as that. When it comes to the music, yeah, we bringing it back, giving it oath. I love everything about the project. I love how their voices work with the music. They had a lot of bouncing tracks, which is right up my alley. This is something that's just in my top ten. Real talk on the really real talk. Man, these songs got a lot of bounce, man. I love bounce, man. I love that bounce. The Cato bounce, man. I like that beat, though, man. Goodness. I like, I like, I like the bounce of it, man. All right. Yeah, that pause, that pause. Cause, you, Cause the songs are so dope, man. That pause is like making you like, hurry up to the next song. You know what I'm saying? So you might want to fix that a little bit. But uh, I mean, cause the songs are dope, man. <laughs> uh, wait, just waiting on the next one. This is an underground classic that needs to be spread for sure. 20 years from now, people will be talking about this album as if it just came out and be all on their job. But I got it now, and I'm telling y'all to listen now. You know what I mean? So, yeah, giving this a 10 out of 10, man. Great work, guys. You guys know what you're doing. Keep it up. Hurt. I'm sending y'all the bill. Sending y'all the bill, man. That Lauren Hill sounds. Then I give into it. He said, then you get it, give into it, huh? Yeah. Then I give into it. Yeah. Why you pick your fence? Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Special acknowledgments. Special acknowledgments. Let's get it. The whole album. Enough said. All right, there you have it, man. 9.7 out of 10. Man, five star product. I mean, like, I can really see this getting like five mics in the source or something like that, man. Real talk. If the right people heard this joint, I could really see them kind of joining in to be along for the ride, man. Real talk. And Doc Jr. did such a phenomenal job on the music. Whew. Which brings me to segue into another shout out for a YouTube channel. The Underground Collective show called Respect the Producer, which puts a lot of focus on giving shine to those any producers that deserve it. So check it out, man. Now back to the review. So here's my review at the time of listen. So Kevin? I like how the, the, the album was a full revolution. I love the intro and the outro. I love, I, th I think this whole project was so musically fluid. It, it didn't make any sense right up my alley. This project right here though, now it might not have had all the all the bells and whistles from a engineering standpoint. It had enough. It had enough. Don't get me wrong. Um, there were some tracks where I felt uh, I think harmony was that one track where I felt like it could have been engineered slightly better, but it wasn't to the point where I couldn't enjoy it. Like I, I definitely saw the vision of harmony, 
and it was a dope vision. And all the songs was so dope. I was anticipating every track. Even with the little pauses in the CD, I mean, that's that's really the CD's fault that there's like five second pauses in between each song. But even with those, I felt like I was anticipating the next, the next track. Everything was just so dope. Definitely repeat worthy. Pure imagination. I think every every aspiring artist, every artist out there, I think they need to listen to that song. Like all those trap artists and all those artists that people talk about how, you know, they copy each other and doing the same things and blah, 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 and all the complaints. I think they all should listen to that track. Like that, that should be like artist 101. That's like the, the, the track you listen to in one of the Cephas courses, uh, one of the intro courses of, of of just being an artist. Yeah, man, those are my final thoughts on it, man. I think everything was dope, man. It's definitely on the rotation. It was right up my alley. Put me in the mind of Slum Village and uh, Little Brother. And, and this is a group as well, a group from North Carolina, you know, making real soulful music. And I think uh, I think Doc Jr. produced this whole album, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. Every beat was five on this joint, man. Everyone, everything, everything was just cohesive, man. I like I like the pictures of your voices and how well how well they sit with the music, um, how well they complement each other. Even the artists that you chose to be on the song, man. Like it's like I don't know, man. It was just a very cohesive project, and I think this is your first one, man. It's a classic album, man. So if you have not seen this or heard of this, man, you you really missing out, man. This is like reasonable doubt type classic album, man. Real talk, man. Yeah, you missing out, man. For real, you need to grab this. For real, you got your work cut out for you, man. When when it comes to bringing a second album, man, because uh, you you really set a high bar with this one, man. The bar is so freaking high, you know. So, hey, man, I, I wish you guys well. Uh, can't wait for your next album whenever you drop that. And uh, yeah, man, dope stuff, man. So yes. It really is that dope to me. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself, man. You can go to multiple areas like iTunes, Spotify, the usual. You can also go to Audio Mac to listen to this album. Link's in the description right here. So guys, what do you think, man? Have you heard this album before? What did you think about the review? Please leave a comment, start a conversation, like this video, share this video, subscribe if you dig what we're doing. All right, guys, man, I'm about to freeze. I can't have get my words out because it's a little cold out here. I'm gonna go ahead and prep for the next listening review. Next up is going to be Chief Takanawa's Hanya the Second Blossom. So anyway, man, thanks for watching Random X Reviews. Tune in next time. Peace, cause I'm cold. I was taught to stand, I never learned to fall. And if you can't relate to this life, then just listen. Check out last week's episode, or if you want, you can check out Reanimix TV, which is a locally syndicated TV show where you can get anime, grassroots music, interviews, videos, and the whole nine. So check it out. And please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to get more updates on our developments. Peace.